Uh, let, let me think. Fuck you, Johnny Cash. You make way too many songs that get stuck in my head. Alright, Kate Sith, we can't get into the gas room, let's move the fuck on. I mean, really, we don't care about Tifa anyways. Fuck that bitch. And... Oh, door locked. Oh. Damn, got it. To the airport! <laughs> now, if you try going any other way, you'll get into a fucking battle, absolutely. No. You'll, uh... Kate Sith will jump out and tell you, No, go this way. Oh god, these assholes. Soldier, second... These are second-rate soldiers, obviously, and looks like Kate Seth will be able to show off his freaking limit break after all. Dice! He throws three dice, apparently, and it'll do damage based on whatever was written on the dice. So, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it because it, uh... It quite frankly does extremely random damage. Mind blow? No, not mind blow. Big shot. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Damn it! Oh, thank god. I, I, thought, it, I thought it didn't kill him there. <laughs> I thought I was fucked! Game was gonna make a fool out of me again. While this section would be easier if I had materials, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna bother equipping Materia. Okay, there we go, I was gonna sh I was hoping to show it off. We're not going this way, it's the other way. Now, he doesn't say which way is the other way, so you gotta kinda test it out. This way is actually the correct way, obviously, but Kate said you really need to be more specific. As a kid, the other way is a little confusing, and hey, is that Yuffie? Looks like it. Let's get away from this fight. Cause, oh god, it's against this guy. Run! Second class, no! Leave me alone! Nah! Nah! Okay, let's try this again. Go see if we can't get some reporter tail. Apparently not. Ah! Fucking second class again! These are, these guys are fairly good for levels anyways, because they drop a thousand experience each. But either way, this scene will actually change if you don't have Yuffie. Because, uh... Yeah. Oh boy! Like, I swear to God, Mercury Weapon look, had bared a slight resemblance to Cloud. At least for me. But more importantly, yeah, let's hit this button and go the fuck up. Because this scene shouldn't take, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be too much longer. Because there is the airship. How the hell are you gonna shoot people with the, uh... With the, uh... Now, in order to do this, you gotta hit X twice, well, X three times, and X and triangle at the same time, then triangle and circle, and... 
then circle, and you're done. That's it. You don't have to worry about running out of time. Turn off the gas. And there we go. Easy as hell. Now open the door, you bitch. Oh boy, that can't be good. Like, th this right here kinda sealed it for me in thinking that it was Cloud. Because it intentionally shot right exactly where the room Tifa is in. Giving Tifa a way, a way out. Like, since Cloud just seemingly disappeared, I figured he may have turned into Mercury Weapon and helped out Tifa there. I don't know, it, it, it made more sense to me as a kid. Now this section can actually be potentially annoying, so let's just go on in. There we go. Toss Leviathan on Tifa because we can get into fights with Shinra soldiers here, but uh, I think it's like uh, just a regular fight, but even one against two of those Shinra soldiers can be fairly difficult at Tifa's current level, so I want to just be able to pull out Leviathan and automatically just kill him. Assuming that Tifa doesn't get put to sleep. Now, just as soon as Tifa stands up, immediately start running because you're still going to be tailed by Shinra soldiers. So yeah, just uh, just keep going as fast as you can, because uh, really Shinra soldiers are a major bitch. No, no, no! Come on, gamma! You, you know you want to. There we go. Like they don't start appearing until a certain t amount of time has passed, so they didn't show up here. But if you would have just stood around for a long enough time, uh. Well, oh. god damn it, Scarlet. Always gotta interrupt me. If you would have stood around for a long enough time, Shinra soldiers would have started appearing and taking you on. And... Bitch lap! This is basically just rapidly mash the circle button to bitch slap Scarlet a bunch of times. Occasionally she'll get you but somehow I actually managed to bitch slap her all the way to death without being bitch slapped back. Holy shit, that's a first. I guess the uh, horrible fail I had with uh, the Malboro in the last scene, or no, not the last scene, but scene two, has uh, decided to give me a better freaking, eh, a better chance at other things. Oh yes, a tiny piece of rope. That's useful. Whoop! <laughs> I actually do kind of like that scene because it seems like, jump for it! Ah, shit. So, now we have achieved the high wind. Now, when starting off in this section coming up, right after we get Cloud, we can get the uh, Chocobo, or we can get the ability to have the Chocobo. You want to be coming into this with at least, I want to say, well, let's see, at least 5,000 with a piece of O, so. At least 60,000 so you can buy out all the uh, 
all the chocobo stalls. Then an extra, at minimum, 50,000. So you can have enough greens to raise the first couple chocobos high enough to where they won't be completely useless. Because each green that you buy, or each green that I'm going to be buying, costs uh, it, it, it costs 5,000 a piece. So you're going to need 50,000 just to buy 10 of them. It's insane. But really, the tin will cover two chocobos, so then that's it, it, it's a lot of money when doing it this early in the game, or as literally as you can in the game. I mean, it is a lot of money. Because let's see, my general tactic is five of these for the first four chocobos. So that's twenty, hundred thousand gil. Ten a piece for the blue and green chocobo, so 40, 200,000 gil. Then 20 a piece for the black and, uh, let's see, the black and the, uh, what is it, the black and the wonderful chocobo, so, yeah, that's 100, 200, uh, 600,000 gil total that I'll need in order to in order to have enough greens to barely make the uh, S rankings and get the golden chocobo like just barely enough that is the absolute bare minimum price that I can give you so that's uh, 66 or 660,000 gil that you're going to need total in order to do this. Or you can wait a little bit, change it off of the stupid fucking daily show with Jon Stewart, and might as well throw it on Family Guy. But more importantly, as I was trying to say earlier, you can wait until you get through the Midgar section and you'll have the W item where all you gotta do is just buy two of the greens and W item glitch it all the way up to nine, a stack of 99. But that's not how I roll. No matter what my goal is, you've got to be prepared. Large. Come on, Sid. Can we go now? Now the next, uh, technically the scene that's coming up is a completely separate scene, but I'm going to keep it in this one only because it's only like five minutes, literally. I'm going to just be rushing through it, so I might as well just keep it in this scene. But, uh, more importantly, we have the classic airship now. Now, can we take the fuck off? No, apparently not. Come on! Can I go already? I would really... I would, I would really like to commence with this. Barrett, got any useless things to say? What about you, dickhead? Huh? You? Oh, what the hell are you doing? Balls. What about you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've talked to everybody in here. Can I take off already? No, apparently not. Nope. Fine, I'll go to the freaking operation room. You see, I have trouble reading things. Er... Operation. I forgot, in order for you to leave, you need to make up a party. Now, once again, this is a section where you cannot take Tifa out of your party, but at least we've got Sid and Yuffie, so they got double AP weapons. Alright, I've got my freaking party members. 
And the section that's coming up actually has a, 